for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel now two of pentacles is here with the eight of pentacles it points to necessary efforts you have a lot on your plate that you must accomplish dedication to the task is important but if you let it work for its own sake it can be counterproductive so be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance no one should work all the time but the eight of pentacles it's showing a very hard work period because if you can see the picture this man he's working looks like he's been working all day and he's not stopping looks like the sun has gone down and he's working into nighttime and on top of that it's pouring raining very heavy if you, you probably can't see the current uh, the details but the rain drops are very big and long and he has no intentions of stopping what he's doing so it's about a very hard work period and this doesn't have to be a negative negative thing but you have to be prepared for it so basically for the present time eight of Pentacles and two of Pentacles so it's about having several tasks that takes you back and forth with this Two of Pentacles. So there's imbalance here. And then you're working overtime. You're trying to master your craft, or maybe you just enjoy your employment, or you got a lot of passion about what you're doing. But it brings imbalance. Yeah, so. Just hold on to the, those two thoughts that I just uh, sh shared with you. And we'll come back to these two cards when we pull the reading together. So, they see you, the person you're dealing with. King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Now, this King of Pentacles, it speaks about authority, tradition, and success in money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, finance, coins, income. So, this card is a sign that it's not a time to be a maverick. It's a time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, when this card does stand for an actual man in your life, it refers to a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. If we are referring to a man in your life, just know this is a man who you can absolutely trust and believe in. So this is one of the ways they see you as stable, your focus, and they see you wanting success with them. Now, it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles, which is a beautiful card in the tarot. Beautiful. It says that you got a let you got a whole lot to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, all of those things should be going really well. Consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Share what you have, even if it's a kind word to someone who needs it. Because we give back what we give out. So it's an overall happy indicator with love, when it comes to love. It could mean that the connection will move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. So they see you... As focused on this connection with the King of Pentacles, you want success, you want to secure it, you want to, you want to make it committed. And with the Ten of Pentacles, they see you they see you as the end all be all. Or you could be wanting the end all be all marriage, childbirth, with the Ten of Pentacles. You want it all. And that's how they see you now. Let's talk about how you see them. 
Now you see them as the hangman and the moon card. So the hangman, it's, show, it's showing that you're at a crossroads. If you can see this man, he's just hung there on a, tr on a tree. And he's just stuck with straps around him. At a crossroads, could be with two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find that you're wanting to do something, but you've just got no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if that does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. It's possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So this should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own interests by being willing to change. So you see them stuck in their head. They're kind of confused. Maybe they need to let go of an outdated attitude or something. But they're stuck. They don't know. In or out, up or down, yes or no. And you also see them as a moon card. Now, the moon card, it's interesting. You could be feeling it's you could be feeling psychic, very intuitive. It's important for you to trust your instinct, instincts and impressions when you get this card in your reading, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that all is probably not a, not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably can't. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it probably will take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient also. So you see them... As at a crossroads, confused, needing to let go of something. And you also see them as wearing a mask with this moon card. You see them as being deceptive. You see them as... A lot of times they don't say how they really feel. Yeah, the moon card is about deception. So, you could see them needing to let go of, of this, of wearing a mask, possibly. But we'll clarify these two a little more when we recap the reading. So for now, we'll move over to why it's happening. It's happening due to the Page of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Now the Page of Pentacles, it could be a card about boredom in some kind of way. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things up for a little excitement. You, not, you might want to rethink the impulse and find a better use of your energy. Excitement, it can be created, we all know that. Now this page of Pentacles is an excellent energy to support you when you've got tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So why it's happening? Someone could be a tad bit immature. They just do silly stuff. Now, it's with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, it's a pretty card. It's showing that um, you could be attending a special event, but not these days, I guess, just online. And the event will be much more fun than you're anticipating, so it's about going. Make sure you go and have a good time, but you can't do that these days, unless it's online. All right. 
So business is likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself. Others will be proud of you too. Although this is a positive card in the tarot, it shows a need to keep your wits about you and that you should treat yourself to some fun. Some kind of fun you, you should be trying to do. But just know that you're still in a building up phase. And now is really not a time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can sometimes mean that you could be moving your place of residence also. So this is the other reason why it's happening. Four of Wands. A relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed. Okay. And we, we see that twice in this reading. So commitment is really strong here. But it's with the Page of Pentacles. So. When you hear the word page in the tarot, it stands for someone younger than you or someone immature. It could stand for a student, youth. So I'm picking up that uh, there's marriage potential here, but someone is kind of immature. So let's recap this reading so that we can get the full picture. Now for the present time, we talked about the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. It's a hard work. There's a lot of work that's needed here um, because it's with the Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles is about, when you talk about relationships, it could be imbalanced or someone could be a two-timer. They juggle. They could be juggling you and then juggling someone else. So, Cancer, you know which situation it is, and uh, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but they see you as wanting success in this connection with the King of Pentacles, and you want the end-all, be-all, because the Ten of Pentacles is there, and you see them at a crossroads, they're stuck in their head, they're confused. And then they bring deception. They probably lie a lot. Or they just have a hard time keeping it real. Or they don't really say how they feel. You see them as a lot of times they just wear a mask. And they're confused about something. Now, the Page of Pentacles... This person is immature. They're probably younger than you. Uh, but because you want success and you want the Ten of Pentacles commitment with this person, I'm picking up as you for the Four of Wands, Cancer. You, you really like this person. You want the end all be all. You want marriage, commitment, moving in together. You want that you want that a lot. You think about it often with this person, even though they're immature, they do silly stuff. And a lot of times you feel like they're wearing a mask. You feel like there's deception and they're they're confused. They don't have it quite all together yet. Not with the hangman there. And then they're immature. But you really like this person. You want to win. Yeah, you want it to become more committed. And I'm picking up this two of pentacles. That's your person. They juggle. They probably see more than you. You're not the only one they're seeing. They could be a two-timer, a juggler. And because the eight of pentacles is there it's showing that this connection is a lot of work it's a lot of work for you but you like this person you like them a lot because we got the ten of pentacles and the four of wands both of those cards are possible of marriage and commitment so 
he could probably get there. Marriage and commitment. But it looks like they need to work on the, the deception and the, the juggling and the just confused. They don't know what to do. They're immature. Yeah, but you really like them, Cancer. You really like them. So good luck with that. It's a lot of work. That's why the Eight of Pentacles is there. It's a lot of work dealing with this person. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. 